a new Sunday, Clara here. I'm going to get live streaming here, but still figuring out how to do and never doing this stuff before. So if you have some suggestions, please tell me. I will be very appreciated. Today we'll gather the recent issues which were sent to me by mail or WhatsApp. Nearly all of them are not capable of fixing by simple answers. So here I also couldn't offer a specific solution, but I will tell you the checking steps, hoping they will be helping. If it's the first time that you encounter my video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and give me your like. It means a lot to me. Thank you. The first question is about cutting non-metal by Faber laser. I said previously, on my part, I don't suggest doing it and I don't have the parameters and solutions for it. I knew there are some masters cutting non-metal with Faber lasers and I saw the videos. I have no comments, but if you ask me on the topic, sorry, I'm helpless. The second question is about peers. The viewer sent the video to me saying that the peers is intermittent. From the video he shared, I don't see the condition of intermittent thing. What I can see is the power for peers is not enough which lead up to the failure of perforation. I have a video telling the peers topic. If you have not checked it, please click the video up here. The third question is about laser welding machine, which the customer is mine. He bought two sizes of handheld laser welding machines from us two years ago. We have not been in touch for a very long time. Last week, he said he wanted to have two welding heads as backup because he found the laser beam of one welder is a little offset. I asked him whether the welding head is damaged. The answer is negative. Just want to make some preparations. So the issue is the offset laser beam. What problems will be generated if the laser is offset? It could damage the protective lens and burn the nozzle. Then what should we do to fix that? We can check whether there is a laser center adjustment option in the software. If there is, we can adjust by increasing or decrease the values and finally find the laser center. But if there's no such option in software, we need any store the motor at the back of the head trying to reset the motor position and get the laser center. The fourth question is the alarm. Following deviation is too large. We could encounter this alarm when the capacitance is not running normally or the metal plate we cut is jittered, which means the metal sheet may be too thin or not fixed very well. Here the capacitance could mean a lot of things, so it's necessary to check one by one. The fifth question is some steps we need to do when replacing the collimating lens or focus lens. For some models, the collimating and focus lenses are inside of two lenses. One is concave and one is convex. The positioning order of the two lenses are important. It's forbidden to put them wrong. The best way is to install the lenses as the way the old ones any sort. Due to the minor differences between the old and new lenses, it's also necessary to find the new zero focus after replacing the collimating lens or focus lens. If we keep the old zero focus, probably all the cutting parameters that we used well previously are not functional. The last question of today is the cutting deviation. It may happen due to the shaping or mechanical re reasons. First, we need to make sure whether the cutting file is correct. And then we could go the machine configure tool. Machine over here, we could make some adjustments on the X and Y directions and find the best data. 
it takes time and patience to repeat the steps. That's all for today. If you still have the time, please stick around and check another video. Thank you for watching. I will see you next Sunday here on my channel. Bye.